Over the past nine weeks, we've seen 26 famous faces being painted. We've smelled 200 tubes of paint being opened, and we've heard the opinions of three quite contrary judges. Okay. And you know what? It's been a joy, but it's not over yet. So prepare for a visual feast as our three finalists go head to head to head to claim a life-changing prize. We haven't covered all five senses. We can touch. Oh, yeah, and you've got loads of taste. I think we've cracked it. OK, welcome to the grand final of Portrait Artist of the Year. In our search to find the next Lucian Freud, Frida Kahlo or Rembrandt, 72 artists put their extraordinary skills on public display. It's starting to shake a little bit. Oh, no, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Painting a hall of fame. I've got a gift of a face. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish they'd turn one of them and it was Peter Capaldi. <laughs> <laughs> Only three remain. Obviously over the moon, really, really, really over the moon. <laughs> Today they face their final challenge. I don't really have a plan, I'm just going to kind of keep spreading the pencil around and hopefully it matches her face. I'm really feeling the pressure. I just want to feel proud of my painting. It's the final chance to win. It's all or nothing, so that's where it is. <laughs> before one of them will claim a phenomenal prize, a £10,000 commission to paint celebrated Hollywood actress Kim Cattrall for the Walker Art Gallery in her hometown of Liverpool. But as always, the decision is down to the judges. So I'm going to get emotional. Oh, it's high. <laughs> so who will they choose? The Sky Arts Portrait Artist of the Year for 2018 is... Of today's three finalists, one is a professional artist, Danny Howes. Now I'm here at the final. I'm trying to keep a cool head, but at the same time, I really want to win. And joining Danny are two amateur artists, Samira Addo and Hetty Lawler, who at 17 is our youngest ever finalist. I'm really excited to be here. You know, it's the National Portrait Gallery and it's the final. It's, it's really mad, actually. I never expected any of this to happen, really. Winning this £10,000 commission would be absolutely amazing. Um, and yet, it could potentially be the catalyst to um, my art career, really. Surrounded by hundreds of years of art history, painting in the world famous National Portrait Gallery is only adding to the pressure. That smell makes me feel better. Genuinely, the smell of the white spirit suddenly that relaxes me. The intensity of the experience with just three of them in that small space, I think we'll feel that pressure and see it in the quality of the work they make. I suppose I'm trying to prove to the judges that maybe age isn't as defining a factor in art. And, and also, I suppose that pencil maybe is a bit overlooked in some ways. What we want to see is not only ability to capture likeness, but to make art, to make something that tells us what it's like to be alive today. I just want to prove that I can produce something that is a kind of a development of what I've done before, something a bit more colourful, a bit more creative. We're giving someone almost like a free pass into the art world, so we need to know that they're an artist that's going to continue to grow and to evolve and make us proud out there in the real world. But to prove they deserve the title of Portrait Artist of the Year, there's a small matter of a final surprise sitter. Danny, Hetty and Samira, congratulations on making it to the final stage of the competition. Your final sitter is a singer, musician, songwriter, a major talent. She wrote her first song when she was 11. She has won several Brit Awards, several Mobos and a couple of Ivan Novellos. Please welcome Emily Sande. Acclaimed for her powerful voice and soulful songs, Emily Sande's debut album broke a chart record previously held by the Beatles. And to add to her accolades, she was awarded an MBE for her services to music. Hi. You're very welcome. 
Dawn, it's a great joy to have you on. Thank you. Have you ever stood for a portrait before? No, this is all very new. I'm going to try my best not to fidget and... Yeah, Do you think you have focused. any technique for concentrating? You can sing a few songs in your head. I think You could so. write a song. That's what I was thinking. Usually I'm at the piano, but I'll try my best. That's your challenge <laughs> yeah, for today. Okay. You've got four hours. <laughs> then the judges will decide what they think about it. <laughs> okay. Not really. Would you like to um, step into your throne? Yes. Can I ask our three finalists, is there anything that Emily can do to help you guys out? Would it be okay if um, Emily moves slightly to, like, turn to your left slightly? Yeah, that would be great for me, because I'd really like to capture your profile. Is that okay for you? Yeah. You okay with that, Hetty? Don't be bullied by these two. <laughs> They're very demanding, the finalists. <laughs> Are we all happy now? Y yeah. Good. Then please enjoy painting Emily Sander. You have four hours to complete your final portrait. Good luck, everyone, and your time starts now. I'm really happy with Sitter. Yeah, she's a great face, and I love the hair and the earrings and her dress and everything. It's just very happy. She's absolutely beautiful. She has really good cheekbones, um, so I'm hoping to capture like elements of that. So as soon as Emily walked in and sat down, she just sat in that profile position just straight away. And I thought, I have to capture that beautiful profile. Her neck, the poise of her head, everything is just right there. There's the painting right there. Danny Howes is from Birmingham and is today's only professional artist. He won his heat with the painting of Chopé de Risu, impressing the judges by conjuring a mood. With an orderly way of putting down paint, it was his ability to capture the lightness and the relationship between Simon Callow and Lily Cole in the semi-final that cemented his place in today's final. You've up the size. I yep. hope that's to impress us judges. <laughs> yeah. You've gridded up and done the initial drawing. Yeah, from the phone. And yeah. then you do the painting from light. Yeah. Just quickly about the composition, tell me what your thought processes are. What are you trying to find out? I've got the bright yellow chair just anchoring down this bottom corner. Um, but her face, I've decided to put that up in the top right corner. So it gives the painting a nice balance, and, but also a diagonal composition. You usually pull these things out of the bag quite late on, and I'm looking yeah. forward to it. We'll see. Right, I'll let you get on with it. <laughs> Thanks very much. With such a career-defining prize at stake, sticking to a tried and tested method may be the key to winning. But Samira has other ideas. Do you normally grid? Um, not usually, um, but I just wanted to get this satisfactory before I start painting. You see, what I've always loved about watching you paint is the face sort of emerges through blocks of colour. There doesn't seem to be any mathematics involved, but I turn my back for five minutes, you've got the ruler out. <laughs> I hope this is not going to uh, cramp your style, so to speak. I am, well, I hope so too. Samira Addo is a former quantity surveyor from London. A self-taught amateur artist, her heat painting of Robert Bathurst impressed the judges with its energetic style. And they were persuaded to give her a place in the final because her painting of Lily Cole and Simon Callow showed an ability to reduce the number of brush marks and still find a lightness. I think every time we speak, I ask you about your day job and whether yeah. your continuing success on this show is making you think, Maybe I could be a professional artist. Are you still thinking about that? Um, yeah, I actually left that job. We'll see how today goes, but yeah, it's definitely on the cards. Are you currently unemployed? So I'm currently an artist. <laughs> oh, you're an artist, OK. <laughs> so, yeah, today's it's quite important. Um, yeah, well, it is quite important. Yeah. I think it wouldn't be going too far to say it's potentially life-changing. Yeah, I reckon so. I don't really like using a grid. It's kind of it seems a bit too structured. I just kind of guess with proportions. I usually start with the eye, and then I just kind of build out from the eye. It kind of helps with proportions a bit, so I can match everything to the eye. 
Etty Lawler is an amateur artist from County Mayo and at 17 is our youngest ever finalist. Unintimidated by David Tennant as her first live sitter, she captivated the judges with her technical proficiency and poignant style. It was the progression of method in her double portrait of Lily Cole and Simon Callow that secured her place here today. One of your techniques to take a photograph yes. and refer to it quite a lot. Now, do you think you might look at her a little bit more this time? Um, I'll, I'll try to look at her more. I'm kind of trying to, to train myself to do that. But it is a, even more of a skill to do it from life. Yeah. I'd like to be able to do both. So you'll have the option. Well, great. Good. I won't interrupt you anymore. <laughs> Visitors to Britain's National Portrait Gallery are well used to seeing scores of fine paintings, but usually they're all finished. Today, the gallery has helped us to throw open the doors to over a dozen working artists who have come with brushes, canvases and easels in tow. The atmosphere here in the, in the gallery is absolutely electric. I sat in a room surrounded by men in wigs. It's great. <laughs> Painting from screens with a live video link, the artist who impresses the judges the most will claim a place in the heats of next year's competition. Is this what you do full time? No, I study textile design and I make closable sloths. We can have a play if you want. OK. <laughs> do you use the colourings for any other things in your life? I'm not sure. Um, OK. Maybe. <laughs> I see you've got a whole array of palettes. These are like my comfort blanket of palette knives. I'll probably use about three. Oh, OK. okay. So... You're just showing off. I like that. Our finalists, Danny, Samira and Hetty, have been painting their final portraits for nearly an hour. I don't really have a plan. I'm just going to kind of keep spreading the pencil around and hopefully it matches her face. I am feeling the pressure of the final in a way that I haven't felt it before. It's the final chance to win. It's all or nothing, so that's where it is. <laughs> To be honest, I'm worried about the timing. I was hoping the grading system would actually speed up the process, but I'm not sure how much of a success that has been so far. I feel like a lot of time has passed. At the National Portrait Gallery, our finalists, Hetty, Samira and Danny, have been painting the statuesque Emily Sande for just over an hour. Now, I recognise your technique, these wonderful patches of colour which you put in. Are you getting bolder, do you think, with that technique? How have you changed it? I'm not it? sure. I've gone with a purpley palette just to be a bit more bold and creative. It was a way I could think of to try and push it a bit further, really. Are you up to schedule? Um, I would have hoped to be a bit further ahead, but yes, yeah, getting there. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll see. I'm curious as to what you feel has changed in the process of going through the competition. I think I have changed a bit. My style has been a lot more like refined. I've experimented quite a bit and I've gone a lot bigger. I've never really mm. done this big. Yeah, it kind of made me a bit more confident doing this. We really appreciate the artists who come along and really take risks and let us go on the journey of them trying new things. You are the professional today. The other two are not professional. Yeah, that's kind of... Do you think that makes a difference? It does, yeah, because the kind of... The pressure's on me to produce a professional piece of work, if you like. I just feel from you a bit more hunger. Yeah, winning this would be massive for my career. I've got an opportunity to 
go to the kind of next big stage. Yeah, that's giving me focus and making me want to win even more, definitely. I like to see a bit of drive combined with a bit of artistry. Thanks very much. Good man. Over the past few weeks, the set, the sitter's outfit and their pose have helped inform the artist's portraits and Emily is proving the perfect final sitter. I think their faces lit up as she came into the room and when she sat down, they immediately started saying, oh, I can do something with yeah, this. Yeah. She's delivered by sitting absolutely still. I mean, she hasn't moved at all, which is fantastic. No, she's incredibly still, rather scarily still, actually. Likeness is also how one holds oneself. Yeah. And she's got a sort of the awe of a high priestess or sort of prophetess, you know, the way she's holding her head. It's rather magnificent. And uh, I think they've all responded. The hair is the most yes. extraordinary. It's very, very beautiful. And it's been coloured so that it's like an aura or yes. a halo. Yeah. It's related in a strange way to the gold hoop earrings, the golden flowers through her dress and the yellow. So it's all of a harmony, but a very unusual harmony. And I think it's a beautiful thing to paint. I just love this dress. I love the colors. I feel like it reflects a side of my personality that people don't often get to see. I'm very serious about music, but at home I like to be quite colorful in what I'm doing. So I really wanted to show, you know, my true self. Um, here, so it's, it'll be great to have a portrait of me natural. Our finalist depictions of Emily won't be the only portraits that judges will be taken into account when they make their decision. Before today, they were given another challenge. Each finalist was given their own surprise commission for a renowned British institution. OK, let's find out who it is. Dear Danny, your commission is for the Design Museum. Wow. <laughs> they have requested a portrait of the pioneering industrial engineer, Sir Kenneth Grange, who has been designing elements of our everyday lives for over 50 years. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Your commission is for the Fashion and Textile Museum. They have requested a portrait of a renowned fashion designer, Zandra Rhodes. Amazing, bright, eccentric character. So I'm immediately thinking I could do something quite fun and colourful with this. Your commission is for the British Music Experience. They have requested a portrait of iconic pop star Jerry Horner. That's a great opportunity. It's incredible to do one of the Spice Girls. Yeah, she's ginger as well, so <laughs> orange paint. <laughs> First, each artist met with the commissioners to clarify what they wanted from the portraits. Hetty went to the British Music Experience in Liverpool to meet its curator, Kevin McManus. The Spice Girls is the biggest thing that happened in the UK mm. since the Beatles, and out of that, Jerry is the most iconic. Is there any particular style you do or don't want? Well, Jerry's always come across as, as being you know, confident, mm. a really powerful woman. I think that's the sort of thing that I'd expect to see it. At the Design Museum in Kensington, Danny met up with its director, Diane Sujic. Kenneth has been changing the way Britain looks for at least 50 years. He made the high-speed train, he did lamps in people's homes, the ankle ploys, he worked on the taxi, yeah. and yet retained a sense of modesty. And I think we want to capture that spirit to show another generation of designers yeah. what design can be. In London, Samira met the head of the Textile and Fashion Museum, Celia Joycey. Sandra is one of the few fashion designers who is synonymous with her own work. So the clothes she wears have been designed by her, mm. and she will have very strong elements to okay. her look, especially her pink hair. Yeah, bright colour is very important, I'm assuming, then. I think something that's bright and colourful and okay. reflects her skill and intelligence will be wonderful okay. if we can see that in the world. <laughs> with the brief fresh in her mind, Samira went to visit Sandra. How yeah. exciting to meet you, and I'm so thrilled. For a one-hour sitting to help decide shapes, form and colour for the portrait. Did you start off with fashion design? Or? No, I trained as a textile designer. OK. And I couldn't sell my work. I decided I wanted my fabrics to be seen how I imagined them. So I started making dresses to show how the fabrics could look. I see. I've been looking to make my work bolder and more colourful. 
I think I can draw quite a lot of colour inspiration from you. To oh, do that's so. wonderful. Oh, exactly. Good. Well, I think if it's bright, no one will be too surprised. <laughs> Danny was able to meet Sir Kenneth in his old studio. Good afternoon, Sir Kenneth. Very nice. Lovely, lovely to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Where most of his iconic designs were formulated. Very interesting to know what you're looking at now. <laughs> well, I can see you've got a bit of a quirky sense of humour. No, I think so. laughing's very important. Yeah, I think if got... you can't laugh, you're dead. Yeah, but at the moment, you don't look happy. I need to correct that. <laughs> Hetty got to spend an hour with Jerry to take photos and do a preliminary sketch. So you're the only red in your family? Yeah. They say you're closer to God when you've got red hair. Some people say it's more to the devil. <laughs> when you look back on your Spice Girls career, do yeah. you, what kind of memories come back? I feel a huge amount of love towards the other girls, and they're like family members. Yeah. I still see them. Yeah. So, yeah. They're coming over in a few days. That's <laughs> nice. A few of them are, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm done, oh, <laughs> for now, anyway. Preliminary show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks very strong. Oh, I'm glad I repinked my hair. <laughs> dum, da, dum, dum. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> no, no, that's very good. What an old bugger. My goodness. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You did that in one hour. That is incredible. Thank you. The artists then had two weeks to complete their commissions. I decided to go bigger because the area that's going to be hung is going to be quite a big area. The pose I've chosen is quite striking because the brief I got was to make her really stand out and pop. I chose the background as red because she has nice blue eyes, so the contrast of that is nice. I wanted to sort of fill the painting with his personality. So it's a collage, really. Everything in the painting is him. It's his workshop. The lamp that he designed is next to him. It's very tidy. His personality is all there in the painting. I got orange, pink and blue from Zandra. I'm trying to capture her quirkiness, the boldness of her character, her, her fashion. So I'm hoping the judges can see that I'm not scared to explore or to be creative, and that I can produce something that is the development of what I've done before. The completed commission work won't be revealed to the judges until the end of today's challenge. Samira, Hetty and Danny have just over two hours to finish today's Portraits of Emily before one of them will be crowned Portrait Artist of the Year. I'm starting to feel the pressure now. It's like halfway through. I'm just getting the skin tones right and I have a bit to catch up on. You're now coming on to a really dangerous part. I don't <laughs> want to alarm you. It's tricky because if you get it wrong, she can look like she's been punched in the face. <laughs> but if you get it right, it'll look, it'll look yeah. perfect. So, yeah. I'm worrying about the colour scheme of my painting. It's hard to tell how it's going to turn out and how I'm going to make it seem seamless. Here at the National Portrait Gallery, our three finalists, Samira, Hetty and Danny, have been concentrating on their portraits of Emily Sande for two hours. But they've been keeping one eye on the competition. I haven't looked at the other portraits and I am intimidated. <laughs> They're both really good. What about your rivals? Have you been to see the work? Well, yeah, I mean, they're both, they're both amazing. Samira's skin tone's coming through around the sort of ear and the eye. With Hetty, it just looks amazing straight away. So you kind of know you're up against it. But today, it's the judge's opinion that counts. It's the final. And I find it today, and watching these three work, I think, as excited as I've ever been. Yeah, yeah. it's impressive. They're quite different, aren't they, as yeah. artists? Yeah. They're very different. Chalk, cheese and apples. <laughs> Shall we start off with Hetty's portrait of Emily? 
Petty's got her from lower down, so you mm. really get that sort of great space going up. It's a phenomenal angle that she's She's found that look in her eye, yeah. which is really special. She's got the head, and she's always been very good at capturing that. I would like the sense of the whole body and more of Emily's poise. So what about Danny's portrait of Emily? There's something very reliable about what Danny does. You feel that he's very experienced. He's safe very, pair of hands. Yeah, safe pair of hands. He's very well practised. Maybe a little bit less exciting than I would like, but he's been very clever at using his time mm. with the other pieces to put in something to spice it up a little bit. So I'm waiting for mm. that to kick in. If it doesn't, I would be mm. disappointed. So what about Samira? She is the one that I think is the greatest risk out of the three of them. Her style lends itself probably more to a few accidents, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? It's halfway through the day, so you can't quite work out mm. where it's going. We've always had that with her. They kind of look a bit messy and a bit clumsy. It's not messy enough. I've got a feeling that because it's the final, she decided to be a bit more controlled. She used a grid today for mm. the first time. I find the colours a bit odd. I, don't I quite... totally disagree. Oh, you like using yeah, this? No, yeah, I, like, I, <laughs> I really like the colour. I find it works really well it with does. Emily. There's still that looseness of touch that I really like in mm. her brush stroke. Is it I... too uh, uh, for you? Is that what <laughs> you don't like? Uh, 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 technically speaking. That's exactly. a, do you want me to translate that? Very, <laughs> it's a very technical <laughs> art, <laughs> historical <laughs> term. It's got a long history. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Well, I think you have a sort of a dual task today because there's also the three commissions. And we don't see them till the end of the day and everything can change. Here they're kind of full throttle competing and the commissions have a very different feeling to them. Although I feel nervous about them, but no. But all the good things in life bring excitement and nerves. Yeah. I've never done this before. Just to completely be silent for four hours. Things going through my mind have been song ideas, things I need to do tonight, but then slowly the thoughts get less and less and you just start to relax. It's been nice just to slow down the mind a little bit. Samira, I saw you building a really good head in that sort of purpley grey, and now through the hair you've introduced colour. Is this what you envisaged when you started out? <laughs> My paintings never turn up to what I envisaged, but um, that was kind of the plan. I just wanted to introduce another colour. I didn't necessarily know what it was going to be or how. Now, you're still using quite a wide mark here. Usually people start kind of wide and get more and more detailed, whereas you work, is it all at the same time? It kind of goes wide, then a bit narrow, and yeah. then I do big marks again. To okay. re refine where ones I wanted were. Okay. Making these paintings in four hours, has it taught you anything about your technique? It has, yeah. It's taught me to be a bit more brave with brushstrokes in particular. It's, it's working out okay as long as I just don't run out of time, so yeah. On that note, I'm going to leave you to okay. keep painting. <laughs> go, go, Thank go, you. go, go. <laughs> So, as a 17-year-old, because you're still at school, when you did the commission, did you have to have time off? Yeah, I took two weeks off. So, your friends, what do they think you're up to when you disappear for a...? Uh, they think I'm sick. <laughs> oh, do they? Yeah. I couldn't really think of any better excuse. <laughs> <laughs> if you go back as the winner, mm. then that's going to be a fabulous surprise. Not only will they be proud that you've won, but also glad that you're not really <laughs> ill. <laughs> yeah. It's not just our three finalists who are focused on Emily. Our wild cards are having their own battle of the brushes to try and claim a place in next year's competition. I really, really like this. I think it's great. Thank you. Is this what you do for a living? No, no. I'm, um, I'm an army helicopter pilot. Are you really? Mm. So you love a blade, well, generally? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of paint there. How long will that take to dry, do you think? Mm, four weeks. Four weeks, wow. <laughs> but who are the judges going to give a place to? It's hard, you know, they've been working today without the sitter I know. here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think there's one I really like in the first room and there's one just here in this room that I would be happy with. And nothing there's, in this room here. I like the quirky things. But it's quirky good enough, you know. Yeah, but... No, no, hang on, hang on. We've got to think they go into next year's... Oh, 
one of the heats. Yeah. Oh, it's all so grown up and serious, isn't it? You're our winner today. Congratulations. <laughs> I like the colours and everything about it and the fact that it was good right from the start of the day. It was brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. Hannah Shergold is the first artist to claim a place in the heats of next year's competition. There are just 30 minutes left before either Danny, Hetty or Samira will become Portrait Artist of the Year 2018. I'm really feeling the pressure. I just want to get it down to good standard. I want to feel proud of my painting. No, I'm not on schedule. There's no one point that I need to particularly work on. Yeah, I just need to finish all of it. The dress is obviously covered in flowers. <laughs> I am planning on painting all of the flowers. It's just dependent on time. I don't want to rush the end, and I've got a feeling I might have to. Samira, Danny and Hetty are in the final moments of their final challenge. It's then up to the judges to decide who will become Portrait Artist of the Year. The stars. It's when you do that thing with a toothbrush. Yeah. I knew I'd seen that somewhere before. It's on my <laughs> bathroom mirror. Mm. <laughs> Artists, you have just five minutes left. It's been an absolute mad scramble. I've got the hair done, I've got what looks kind of like flowers on the dress done. Just got to put some highlights on these earrings. I don't know whether it fits together well, like the background and the pencil. I don't know whether they fit together. I'm just trying to pick out the most important bits for me to get in before the time is up. But yeah, I can't believe where the time has gone. Artists, your time is up. Your final challenge is over. Please put down your materials and step away from your portraits. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's perfectly still pose for the past four hours has not been in vain as she now gets to choose her favourite to keep. Emily, I think of all the sitters we've had, <laughs> you are certainly in the top three. Thank you. You are amazing. <laughs> Absolutely still with a sort of posture that I felt I should possibly kneel. <laughs> <laughs> really, you were so regal. In my experience, the better the sitter, the better the portrait. So I think you're in with a good chance. Awesome. Shall we have a look? Yeah. OK. Artists, will you please turn your easels? Oh, wow. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Would you like to come and have a closer look? Yes. <laughs> It's strange for me to see <laughs> a picture of myself, really. Yeah, I love that. There's something about that look. Yeah, and it's, it's really it's strong. It's got some emotion about it. Brilliant, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. That's awesome. How did you choose the colours? Kind of took some inspiration from your top. Yeah. <laughs> I like the look in my eye in this one. Very serious. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, really unique. Wicked. Yeah, it was a big thing for me having my hair natural. That's natural. You're blonde. Oh, well, <laughs> the texture. <laughs> You've really captured the texture. Yeah. Now, you get to keep one of these. Amazing. To share the rest of your life <laughs> with. All you've got to do is tell us which one you like best. It's so difficult because they're so uniquely different. Mm. 
I, I think this one's my favorite. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> In order for the judges to decide who is this year's winner, they take into account not only today's portraits of Emily, but also the three commission paintings they're about to see for the first time. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, oh my. Oh my. It's <laughs> amazing. And all of a really top quality. There's no duffers in here. It's so strong, all three. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Incredible to see Danny's style move on from the four hours we give him onto the finished work and see how far he can push it. It has a finesse and a sort of the vision is so much larger. I love all the tools. I mean, I'm almost distracted by them. You get such a strong sense of his vivacity and energy just from that expression mm. on the face. It yeah. talks about mm. what he represents. If you look at Emily Sande, this is incredibly competent as well. Her hair is a tour de force. I think he caught some really beautiful passages of paint and was very clever not to overpaint them. Very good, but a bit prosaic in a sense. There's not much poetry, but it's very well done. It's very yeah. well done. Yeah. It's very, you know, something to be proud of, something to, someone to yeah. be confident in, easily commissionable, no question. That was pretty intense. It's a big competition and a big thing to win this, so that's what I'm hoping for, so fingers crossed. <laughs> This is just one of those paintings you think, how on earth did they come up with that? The idea of that tilted face and her mouth is open. And knowing where to leave the orange coming oh, through the cheek. Yeah. That's incredible, isn't so it? So good. And you know, she's picked all those colours that mean so much to Zandra Rhodes as well. It's just I, it's breathtaking in a sense. I think Samira showed us today that she's quite interested in playing around with colour and it's definitely a really interesting departure for her. I was sort of dubious about her use of the grey and then she started sort of playing off it with the colours coming to the cheek and, I, and you can see now she's got a great colour sense. She really has captured the spirit of the person that mm. she was representing. Mm. What excites me is that this is so distinctly Samira, you know, we're celebrating people that are portrait artists and you yeah. want something that's really exciting and different and that's what I get from this. Yeah. Already to get this far, it's kind of made me reflect on my career path away from the quantity of eight. Um, so yeah, winning this competition could potentially have quite a big impact on my life. I love what Hetty did today. She's trying to look a lot more. It's not yep. just about looking at the tablet and really impressive. I think it might be my favourite from today because of what she caught of Emily. This sort of direct, lifted gaze, funky attitude, you know, and she didn't get it from a photograph. You have to get that from looking mm. and she did look. Hetty got the best likeness mm. and I think she's consistently got a very good likeness. Mm. And looking at the painting of Jerry here, there's a great sense of the person there. So, that is something she's very good at. To deal with an artist, a brand even, like mm. Jerry, and feel that sense of responsibility as a young woman painting her, it's, it's a mm. tough ask. And I think she's got Jerry really well, actually, yeah. as Jerry really is. That was pretty stressful. Yeah, I'm glad it's over now. I think I've done myself justice in the competition. I've, I've advanced enough to be proud of, so I'm happy with that. Right, we have to make a decision. <laughs> One of these have got to win. OK. It's... It's time. Not easy. <laughs> Come on. One thing I do have to say, and it pains me, is I often disagree with you guys, as you know, but I think you've come up with three brilliant finalists. Those six portraits are pretty special. 
Fantastic. Yeah, really high calibre. You said earlier today that you thought it may well be that the commissioned portrait would be the clincher. Mm -hmm. Has it proved so? Yeah. Absolutely. Seeing what they can do under the four hour time constraint and then with as much time as possible, you get a feeling of where the magic comes in, whether there is any magic or whether they're very good craftsmen and produce great portraits, but doesn't have that unnameable extra magical quality. It's just exciting to see three artists who each of them know who they are. All, all three really of them happy. are easily commissionable for an institution. Exactly. Yeah, they are. They're they all are. really good at what they do. We've never had this before. Yeah. I'll say that. We've never had such a strong sweep. I think it might be your toughest ever decision. Yep. Yeah. Without a doubt. Artists, congratulations on being our three fantastic finalists. It's been a real pleasure to watch you work and we've enjoyed every brush stroke over the weeks that we've travelled with you. But this is it. This is the moment that you three have been working towards. The judges have chosen a winner. The Sky Arts Portrait Artist of the Year for 2018 is... Samira Addo. Oh my goodness, being the portrait artist of the year 2018. I can't even contemplate how big that is at the moment. Yeah, it just feels incredible. Oh, so Really disappointed with the, the result, obviously, but Samira is a great artist and she's a lovely girl as well. It's a fantastic portrait for a commission, actually. So, you know, I have to take it on the chin. I enjoyed it a lot. It was, it helped me progress a lot in myself as well, and I learned a lot, so it's great. Samira really deserved her, and she's, she's a great artist and actually a really nice person as well. I think it was anyone's call. Your commission is so beautiful. Mm. What Samira does, she brings magic to the process of painting. So I'm going to get emotional. Oh, Ty! <laughs> Samira made Ty cry. <laughs> she, she makes me feel incredibly excited. I've learned a bit more about how you can put paint down from watching her. I feel that going forward, we're going to see things that are made in a new and fresh yeah. way. And some of those marks, they're unusual. They're not in the books, but it works. And I just think that commission is just, just spectacular. Yeah, she's just pulled it out of the bag, and I don't know how she does it. That's what's exciting. I have a lot of thinking to do when I get home. Um, but yeah, it's definitely now leaning towards taking art as my full-time career. Yes, yeah, amazing, amazing feeling. I really can't wait to see what she does with the prize commission. Yeah. That's going to be really interesting. Next, our winner, Samira, paints celebrated actress Kim Cattrall. So I've just put random bits of blue on your face. Am I blue? <laughs> As she begins her £10,000 commission for Liverpool's Walker Art Gallery.